Hello guys, here is a new tutorial about Unreal Engine 4, C++, Blueprints and programming concepts in general. I want to point out here that it is really important to understand the concepts of programming no matter if you are coding with C++, C Sharp or even Blueprints. Now let me demonstrate this by using a very simple example. This is our FPS project based on C++ and I will write here a private method. I will name this function calculate complicated stuff and it will return a boolean value to indicate if the calculation was successful. The method has one parameter that should contain the result of the calculation. By using this example I will demonstrate the concept of passing a value by reference or by value. So let's see what this means. First implement the function, which is studio helps here. Just right click and choose create definition and the implementation will be added to the C++ file. Okay, here we go and I will return true because I assume that the calculation was successful and then I will assign a value to my result of calculation. All right, great stuff. And now let's call this function in the constructor of our FPS character. Calculate complicated stuff and this has a result or well, let's call this success and as a result parameter I pass an integer. Okay now let's start the game. First I set two breakpoints so that we can see the values while we are debugging. I attach the Unreal Engine editor and then I start. Okay, here's our first breakpoint. The result is initialized to zero. Then the method is called with the parameter result. We assign 99 to the result of calculation. Okay, and then we leave the method and have a look at the result now. Zero. Well, this could be disappointing if you don't understand that this variable is passed by value. This means that the manipulations that we assign to the parameter of the function have no effect on the variable that we passed. It's an in parameter, not an out parameter. This is the concept of passing a variable by value. Now let's change the declaration of this method and add this little ampersand here. Now this means that the variable that I pass as a parameter to this method now is passed by reference. And when I assign a value to this parameter inside of the function, the changes are reflected to the variable that I passed. So that's the difference. Let's prove this. Again attach the Unreal Engine editor and start the game. And have a look at our variables in the debugger. Now I assign 99 and then I leave the method and the result has the same value. It is passed by reference. All right, and now there are guys that tell me I don't need this concept because I'm a blueprinter, I do visual scripting, I don't care. So let's have a look at the inventory blueprint we created. There we defined a function to clear all the items of the inventory. It is called clear inventory. Let's select this and here is the declaration. Just like our calculate complicated stuff. And it has one parameter and this is the list of all inventory items. Inside of the function we loop over all the items and assign a null value for each item in the list. So this is exactly the same that we did in the method calculate complicated stuff. We are setting a value for the parameter of this function and we assume that the changes are reflected when the function is left. So let's have a look at the declaration of this function. Open here the inputs and now you can see that there is an option. We can decide if we want to pass the variable 
as a reference or as a value. And if you don't know this concept, you will be stuck here. If this function doesn't return the correct results or the results that you expect, you will never find out what is wrong or why. This is just one simple example of a huge list of concepts that you have to know if you want to be a game developer. Trust me. Alright guys, I hope you are not depressed now. I just want to point out and to clarify that programming concepts are really essential. I hope you liked this video. And if you like my channel, then let me know. And don't forget to subscribe because you want to be notified when new content is available. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.